So as you guys might know, Viking Republic, my Rust servers, have been around for a little bit of time, probably like four and a half years or so. As you might expect when you've been around for that long, um, there's some frequent players, right? Players that, you know, the community, if they've been around, they'll, they'll remember. One of those players, I'm not gonna name just out of like kindness and I don't want to start anything. But basically, one of those players has been well known to be using kind of exploits and little tricky things like that. Now as you might expect, when somebody raids a base near perfectly in regards to efficiency, people assume that uh, that person is up to no good and cheating and so on, when in reality, there could just be a couple easy indicators that show exactly where the loot is. And today I want to show you a bit of that lifestyle, I guess, on how to raid bases efficiently, and also a few things that maybe you should avoid doing in your base designs in case you're doing them. By the way guys, this is a bit of a different format than usual, this is sort of like an admin life story. If you're interested in this kind of content, do let me know by leaving a like on the video. So this magnificent compound is made by the noobs clan it's it's an absolute masterpiece i i love this thing now this thing got raided by the player i'm referring to the guy i'm referring to let's just call him uh what the heck let's call him jerry okay now when jerry raided the base the owners of this thing messaged me and were like hey dude what the heck this guy blew right to tc what's going on and I'm going to show you the footage of when I first encountered this problem. Do bear in mind that, once again, Jerry is known to be using exploits and stuff like this. So I'm totally coming in with a bias. I'm like, oh, dude, he's back at it again. You know what I mean? He's found some new exploit. So he's already, he recruited two clans saying he knew exactly where TC was. Yeah. TC, in this whole base, he blew straight down. To TC. That wall, that wall, straight down to TC. Yeah, where was the TC? Like, in this right, room? Right this. Right here. Okay. Alright. Um, uh, one sec. Okay, I'm just looking at the layout of the base. Oh, okay, that's very sus, dude. Um, it's a massive core. We could have it anywhere. Yeah. What, I'm what I will ask him is, like, how did you know, right? I'm, I'm curious to see yeah. what he says. Yo, Jerry, are you in there? Oh, what's up? What? Okay, Jerry, how did you know that the TC was there? Hey, man, same we always know. <laughs> How's that, Jerry? Hey, man, just luck, man. I'm telling you 100% luck every time, dude. <laughs> good oh luck, my dude. god, dude. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, man, just luck. Oh, just luck! Oh, dude, that's that's some impressive luck, Jerry. Damn. <laughs> that's super cool. That's really impressive, dude. All right. Um, yeah, thanks, Jerry. Thanks. <laughs> oh, my God. So, from, from watching that clip, I'm sure you're probably on my side at that point. You're like, okay, yeah, dude, this guy's ridiculous. What do you know? I ended up banning the guy, and Jerry later messages me on Discord and explains that he was able to see TC because there was a campfire on right next to the TC, which is hard to believe. But I also didn't really believe that you could see the fire from the outside. So anyways, I go ahead and start testing this thing. There was no uh, fire. There was no fire. This was not here. Yeah, no, I know I placed that, but like, let's just see. Let's entertain it. Let's see yeah. if it's even possible. Um, all right, so this is like this would be the easiest possible turn off all your lights Nah, dude, I don't see a thing Using Jerry's graphic settings, which he sent me which is basically everything on low I can show you literally just everything low and then the things you need set it to max like that's more or less how it works So here's the uh, the light from the campfire um, you can see, you basically go like this, and the TC was in this room. With this in mind, we could see that actually there is a legit way that Jerry could have raided this base if there was a campfire there. So the big question is, is there a campfire there? 
A friend of mine gives me an awesome idea, and that is to check the backups, the map backups for the server, and see if there was actually a campfire on in the base. So we're getting, we're getting very deep here. And I can actually show you this right now. I'm going to boot up the uh, save file and map file and server seed and so on. Okay, so I'm on the test server. This is now like probably, I think it was about six hours before the actual raid, if you understand what I mean. This isn't a live server, like I just popped up the same map, right? All right, here is where Jerry raided. And you know, I'll just do it easier. So you can see, if we go down, there is indeed a campfire. And just to confirm here, uh, there's like 7,000 wood in it. If somebody wants to do the math, because someone already did, my campfire smelt speed or whatever the heck is half speed. So if you want to do the math and the burn rate, it would have actually still been running by the time the raid was going on. It would have had like nine hours of burn time. But of course, this is all nonsense because they could have filled it up again, right? So as you can see, do have some campfire action. Okay, so if we just start removing here... Um, I'm just guessing here. So, as you can see, if you were raiding this thing, obviously, you can see here, there's something going on below you, right? And as a raider, you're going to take any kind of hint that uh, there's something juicy. And as you can see, it's more and more obvious as you're raiding. And then, va -voom, you're here. Now, obviously, you could make the argument, how come he didn't blow this one first? Well, I mean, firstly, it is a triangle instead of a full foundation, but also that's not really a big deal. He could have gone for this one first and then saw the garage door blasted this. But yeah, so this is how he got the got the TC. And in my opinion, I think that this was a legit raid after learning everything. Now, it's possible that Jerry was basically like if you've seen Mindhunter, the interviews in that uh, it's possible Jerry was basically just telling me what I wanted to hear and giving a beautiful story that all makes sense and he was still using an exploit this is entirely possible but nevertheless I have to go with it because it's too there's I have perfect evidence here to suggest that the raid was legit and I don't have any evidence really to suggest that it was uh, not legit so the moral of this story is uh, firstly, that uh, there's obviously a lot of stupid ways to raid bases, and also, they should probably fix that uh, graphics thing where you can see campfires through walls, because at my previous graphics settings, I could not see the campfire through the walls. The other learning lesson here, you could have a monstrosity of a base, and if you just do a dumb thing like leaving a campfire on at your TC, this thing can be raided much cheaper than you would imagine. <laughs> So basically, please do not leave campfires on at your TC or at anything of importance. No furnaces. Don't be walking around near your TC. Avoid doing anything that makes noise that some sneaky guy like Jerry could uh, use as a as some kind of hint about where something valuable is. You guys would not believe, well maybe some of you do, uh, how far people go to figure out the most efficient ways to raid bases. I was trying to get some interviews for this video, but no one wants to talk about it directly to me, which is fair enough. Uh, I mean, people mess with their sound settings so they can hear the footsteps and kind of figure out the layout of the base that way. Another big one is pookies, because people love pookies, especially on my servers. So if this were placed in an area of importance, you get the bonus comfort from the pookies, right? And that can be seen through walls, anything like that. Comfort or basically things that make noise. Those are the big two killers. Now, if you're wondering what happened with Jerry, he got unbanned because, yeah, I mean, as you can probably tell here, this appears to be, or it could have been, a totally legitimate raid, and that's that, really. Anyways, guys, that is going to conclude this kind of Rust uh, admin life story. Love doing videos like this. If you want more, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.